Should you delay taking your social security benefit? And should you focus on your break even analysis in retirement? Of course, your social security benefit break even analysis is something to be mindful of, but there are always many factors to consider when determining activation of your social security benefit. I often hear those approaching retirement say something like, you know, Tim, I have to get to age X in order for me to make it worthwhile to delay benefits. And while a break-even analysis is always useful for comparing any investment, I like to frame Social Security as an insurance in case we live longer than expected rather than as an investment. Now, as you probably know, your Social Security benefits are generally going to be based on your average income over your lifetime and the age at the time you file for benefits. And of course, also whether or not you are entitled to survivor benefits. You can start claiming benefits anywhere between ages 62 and 70 and as low as age 60 for survivor benefits. And of course, the longer that you wait, the higher your monthly amount is going to be. You can elect to take lower payments over a longer period of time by starting earlier, or you can take higher payments over a shorter period of time by delaying your benefits. But since most of us don't have a fortune teller to tell us how long our retirements are going to last, at least credibly, I generally recommend treating Social Security as the insurance policy that it was intended to be when it was created. What do I mean by that? Well, Social Security, also known as Old Age and Survivors Insurance, OASI, is basically a safety net or an insurance policy that covers you in the event that you live longer than expected, as I mentioned earlier. To use an extreme example, you may not have planned for your nest egg to cover all of your expenses if you live to be 110 plus. Social Security is going to continue to pay you even if you do live to be 110 plus. Now, of course, there are instances where some people should take their benefit as early as possible. And here are a few. Number one, if you are not in good health and you have a short life expectancy, of course, you want to get as much as possible as soon as possible. So go ahead and get it, right? Number two, if your spouse does not qualify for a benefit or it's a very low benefit, you might want to file your benefit to unlock a 50% spousal benefit at full retirement age. And number three, you just need it. Unfortunately, Social Security has become the only source of income for many in retirement. And maybe you are unable to work until your full retirement age or until age 70 to maximize your benefit. Now, let's take a look at a real life scenario. Let's say we have a couple and the husband is 62 and he's getting ready to retire. If he wants to claim social security benefits immediately to supplement the household income and his wife is 57 and she's still gonna be working for several more years. But in their situation, we have suggested that the husband wait until at least full retirement age or even age 70 to claim his social security benefit. Why you ask? Well, there are of course many factors to be considered, but for this couple, the husband is the higher income earner and his social security benefit is going to be about double what his wife's benefit's going to be. Also, his wife is about five years younger than he is. And even though they are both in good health, she is statistically likely to outlive him by several years. And his wife's income only covers about half of their current living expenses. So this means that if he does not claim Social Security now, they're going to have to withdraw money from their nest egg to make ends meet until he does, right? And he's concerned, this happens a lot, that their nest egg is going to be depleted more than he wants it to be. Now, of course, after hearing our recommendation, the husband said that he had done a break-even analysis and that he had determined that he would have to live until at least age 80 for it to pay off and for him to get more money by delaying his social security. And this is common. Break-even age is typically between age 79 and 82 somewhere. And of course, he also said that he would rather have the social security money now and then save their nest egg for later. And of course, if he could guarantee a high rate of return for their nest egg, perfect. But he can't. And that's the rub, right? He's thinking of social security as an investment. It really isn't. Why do we purchase home insurance? Why do we purchase auto insurance or have any insurance? Now we purchase insurance to cover the unexpected. Social security is not an investment designed to provide you with the most income over your lifetime. And even though that is exactly what we want to try to do is to maximize the most income we can get, we also want to hedge and ensure that you have a good source of guaranteed income in the event that you live 
longer than expected. A nest egg, of course, is a specific amount of money that is usually invested, and we hope it's going to grow over time, but there's nothing that is going to replenish that fund once we begin to take significant withdrawals from it. But it can grow over time and provide an increasing income stream. But typically, your nest egg is not guaranteed to retain value and or grow over time. We hope it will, and there is a strong historical precedence or probability that it's going to, but it isn't guaranteed. And Social Security insurance is going to be adjusted for annual cost of living increases, and this is currently an automatic action that is actually coded into law. And also, it's going to provide income for your entire life, as I mentioned earlier. And of course, if your spouse lives longer than you do, your spouse is going to continue to receive the higher benefit for the rest of their life as well. Bottom line, if you've been saving during your working years to pay for your retirement, now is the time to thread the needle and try to maximize your own retirement income while at the same time hedging with some guaranteed income sources like Social Security. And remember, for every month that you delay claiming Social Security, you will have higher income for the rest of your life and possibly your spouse's life as well. Thanks for tuning in this week. I'll talk soon. Once again, Tim Dorman here, founder of Eagle Ridge Wealth Advisors. And if you would like to see how we help our clients get the most out of their financial lives and retirement, please visit us at erwealth.com and we hope to see you there.